Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Matt's MTG Marketplace. So I did a short maybe two days ago and was talking about how I had did a one-to-one -one trade of modern, uh, more modern commons for uh, vintage commons. So basically every one common I gave of a modern card, he gave one of a vintage card. And the reason why is because uh, he's up in Saba and he plays Commander and so he just wanted one copy of a ton of newer commons. So we did the trade. Uh, I love everything vintage. Now I am sure there are no big bangers in here like the big dollar stuff. Uh, but I could be wrong. There could be some nice sweet stuff. But mostly what I'm looking for is popper staples. That's why I love commons. And so um, and I have boxes and boxes of commons so to trade one-to-one -one was like an excellent deal and if you're familiar with the Malaysian market for MTG older cards are harder to come by so why don't we dip into I believe this is a stack of torment yeah so you wrap them up nice with some cellophane again he said that they were going to be, um, that they probably would be played to some level. So I'm just going to kind of go through them pretty quickly. Oh, looks like there's a mix. Okay. So let's just work our way through there. Protection from goblins. Okay. Very specific. Come to play in point, may reveal a five damage to him or her. If player does, sacrifice legion fire beast. Oh, nice. Okay, that three for five, not bad. Field player, search your library for a basic land card, put that in the card. Uh, play tapped. All right. Oh, nice. From uh, I believe that's Dark Steel. Again, most of these sets were actually before I was even playing. When I played standard, I was playing standard in Zendikar. Okay. Five and one. <laughs> All right, Lost in Thought. Interesting. Judgment is a very interesting set to me. I mean, mental note sticking off because of the the uh, the meta is one of the meta uh, builds is Talarian Terror, and so that's what uh, they love mental note. So I had some packs packs of judgment, and I opened two mental notes. So to my name, I have two. So if there happens to be a mental note hiding in here maybe even two of them, that would be really sweet. Um, Piety Charm. Love it. I love the charms. Those are so good. Ooh, that's expensive. Uh, in mana cost, I should say. Misery Charm. Love this one. Probably going to go in a Blackburn deck. Uh, not so much for the cleric abilities, but definitely for uh, target player loses two life. Damage a cleric you control, prevent one of that damage. Nice. Blind Creeper, we saw that one. Elvish Warrior, good. Two for a 2-3, that's really good. It gives you, a, it's better than its mana cost and toughness. A um, couple of those. Wirewood Herald. Uh, none. It's another uh, fetching an elf card and puts it to your hand, so that's nice. So if it dies, which it's quite likely with that power and toughness. Uh, another more elvish warriors. Okay, cycling. Uh, and then you get to draw a card, and oh, when you cycle it, you also get to search your library for a land card, put it into your hand. Not bad, because uh, I definitely I don't think you're going to be doing that much. Uh, that is very slow in Popper, but popping off something like that, it's doable, but you'd have to make some sacrifices to fit it into your 60 cards. Um, okay, so you can put on our land, sacrifice that creature. Beautiful. Oh, good, it's a play set. Love it. 
All right. Barkhide Mauler. Constrictor. Target black creature gets minus two, minus zero until the end of turn, and it has Swamp Walk. All right. Uh, you get to destroy a target enchantment, and as long as you have seven or more threshold, uh, interesting mechanic. You just have to have a full graveyard, and you can usually get a second ability off. Floating Shield comes into play. Choose a color. Enchanted creature has protection from the chosen color. This effect doesn't remove Floating Shield. And then you can sacrifice it, and it gains protection, uh, so you could flip it over to another creature if you needed. Nice. Spirit Flare. Tap target, untapped creature. You control, if you do, it deals damage equal to its power and target attacking or blocking creature and opponent controls. Nice. Militant Monk, basically old school vigilance. Opened up one of those in the two tournament packs I opened in uh, one of the, my first video, I think. More protection from goblins. Uh, Disable Grace, protection from black. Okay, maybe a very specific sideboard. Uh, gain six life. You can cycle, uh, and you still gain two life. That's not bad for uh, a draw and two life for two mana. Got first strike. When it comes into play, you may search your library for a card named Daru Cavalier. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Okay, so you can draw another one to your hand. Um, still expensive for a two two. It does have first strike though. Uh, Gold click. Uh, Gust Cloak Runner becomes blocked. You may untap it and remove it from combat. Nice. More some Phantom Tigers. I have quite a few of these, and I have uh, some boxes to my left, which are nothing but vintage cards, mostly commons, uncommons, a couple rares. Uh, but got quite a few of them, like nine or ten. Not amazing, but they're pretty cool. Fallen Cleric protection from clerics. Tracer, Ember Shot, deals two damage to target creature player. Very expensive. As initial cost to play Restless Dreams, discard X cards from your hand, return X creature cards from your graveyard to your library. All right, not bad, one mana, doable and something. Uh, comes into play, it deals four damage to target player. Now, again, rem I've got back, I just got back into Magic, maybe three and a half months ago. And I only play Popper, and a lot of these sets, I mean, I was, for example, let's say uh, 10 when this came out, and when I was 10, I was mostly doing Pokemon. So these things are new for me as I see them. So if you see some great Popper stuff, and I just seem to be a dum-dum passing over it, let me know. Uh, Spurred Wolverine, Advanced Hover Guard. Flesh Grafter. You can give it plus two plus two by sacking uh, or discarding an artifact card. Nice. Terrible is one life. Eh. More Flesh Grafters, more Cackling Imps, Dross Crocodile, Blind Creeper, Venomous Vines. Titanium Golem. Gains for strike until the end of turn for five. Artifact Cobalt Golem. You can, you can gain some fly in there. Clockwork Beetle comes into play with two plus one plus one counters on it. And you remove it off until it dies. So basically, for one, it comes out as a two two. And every time you attack um, or block, it gets weaker until it dies. First Dragon Haste. Nice. Dreams Grasp. Not bad, especially if you do it in Twine, because uh, I have three or four play sets of this already. Before I, there may even be more in here. Um, and with I love to play Ninfei. So blue, blue, black, or even just uh, mono black, but this would fit in one of the blue builds. And with having the uh, in Twine, for two, hit them with a ninja, you can tap uh, their creatures so um you can untap your permanent or you can uh tap theirs so we'll see
Deals 2 damage to target creature. If it's an artifact creature, electrostatic bolt deals 4 damage to it instead. Nice. That ain't bad. Especially with um, Bro and, you know, just the popularity of zero, uh, zero cost artifact creatures. You know, like anything that you can get affinity for with affinity for islands or affinity for uh, artifacts. Or you have like Ornithopters and Phyrexian Walkers um, being able to basically get a 4 damage bolt against them. That's not bad. Especially at instant speed. Could be a good sideboard. Uh, because at least in my playgroups, Affinity is put into quite a few of the um, quite a few of the different colored decks because of artifact lands. So, oh yes, love this card, Grip of Amnesia. So, you know, Graveyard Hate is great right now because you got Tolarian Terror, you have Gurmag Angler, you know, anything like that. So basically it's like, get them to cast that really important spell, pay the two of a counter spell, and it's like, okay, you can you can, uh, you can can negate my counter, but get rid of your whole graveyard. And you get a draw out of it, fantastic. And actually I think this copy completes, uh, completes a playset for me. So love it, love to see it. Yeah, not a fan of that card. Advanced Hoverguard. We've seen that a few times. Um, Alright, Thought Courier. Got a lot of him. Okay. Uh, let's do one more for this video. Let's see. Which one? Which one? Everybody? Anyone who watches this, say which one you want. Maybe that'll be it. Let's go with this one, my border. Okay. Oh no, they're all PSA 4 now. Spineless Thug, Scathe Zombies. Looks like we're getting a lot of Seventh Ed here. Plague Beetle, love it. I've been looking into doing a Swamp Walk uh, popper deck. Looks like fun. Put throw in some Black Ninjas. Let me check it's plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Yeah, three to put it out. Grave Digger, classic. Reprinted many times. Giant Cockroach, Dredge Skeletons. Gotta love two for a one one that can regenerate for one. That's 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 still good. Fog Imp, Dusk Imp, Severed Legions got fear. Uh, only the artifact creatures and black creatures can block it. Demystify. Uh, we've seen that one just a little bit ago with Swamp Walk. Hydromorph Guardian, counter spell that targets one or more creatures you control. So. You gotta pay three and you get a two two and then you can sack it and pay one blue and then use it as a counter spell. Uh, well, I, uh, use it as a counter to a spell that targets your creatures. Uh, do some combat damage prevention. Suntail Hawk. Uh, I love this art of pacifism. Crossbow infantry. It's all right. Wormskin Forger comes into play, distribute 3 plus 1 plus 1 among any number of target creatures. Wow, that is expensive though, 7. I mean, you could ramp to it, but why would you ramp to that when you could ramp to so many other things? Uh, protection from artifacts. It's got reach. Yeah, that's better uh, when you can prevent da all damage that would be dealt. Uh, but the problem is there are cards that can do similar things, uh, and it gives you more than just the creature itself. Um, I mean, Benevolent Bodyguard is fantastic, especially in, a, I believe it's Naya colors. So you have the um, white, green, red, and you just, it's one, and then you sack it, and you give protection from a declared color. Uh, that's really good, especially in a uh, sliver deck. 
Uh, madness for one. Nice. Healing salve. Do some healing. Honor guard. Bridge of Griffin. Sacred Nectar. Semite healer. Standing troops. Haven flock. Foothill guide. Sea monsters. Stormcrow. Oh, here we go. Uh, two. Uh, so, I mean, it's definitely... Um, definitely with some of the uh, elves that you can produce mana with. But... Uh, not bad. I mean, if you're building a popper commander deck, it could totally help with your ramp uh, and let it fill in your 99. Protection from white. You can also cycle it. So you just want to make sure you cast this when it's when you got that seven or more in your graveyard, so you can do five. Haste and provoke. All right. Got Reach, Dive Bomber, Toxic Stench. Uh, you can destroy that creature again if you have those cards in your graveyard. Um, not too bad, but there's a lot of better things for one black or uh, black and one that you can do that. I mean, my one of my favorite is Tragic Slip. I put it, we had a, a local tournament here. I got second place, and one of my favorite cards is Tragic Slip, because as long as any creature died that turn uh you get to put minus 13 minus 13 on it which also lets you get around indestructible because it's not damage uh you just essentially suck its life away with minus one minus one counters yeah. but still cool love the artwork phantom tiger again first strike haste very really expensive but looks like you got cycling but like some of those other ones we've seen, it doesn't give you a benefit besides the draw on that cycle. Uh, United Strike. Remove target attacking creature from the game if its power is less than or equal to the number of soldiers in play. Uh, it could be cool in a human soldier deck. Escape Artist. It's unblockable. And you can return it to your hand if you need to. Odyssey's got a lot of fun stuff. I mean, my favorite Odyssey card is Snap. I got two play sets that uh, hard to come by in Malaysia. Um, Ogre Lightfoot comes into play, blocked, uh, becomes blocked by an artifact creature whenever it does destroy that creature. Crack Clan Grunt, Skyhunter Cub. Use some equipment decks. Bloxodon, Skywing Haven. Don't know how many. Uh, well, too many. That's all you need to know. I got too many of those. Um, Infernal Caretaker, it's got Morph, and then when Infernal Caretaker is turned face up, return all zombie cards from your graveyard to their owner's hand. Alright, maybe in a zombie deck. Prevent all damage, uh, uh, prevent all damage a source of your choice would deal this turn. Nice, damage prevention. Fangren Hunter, some Trample. Griff Skither, when Griff Skither becomes blocked, you may t return target card named Griff, uh, Groff. Skither, sorry, I said Griff, uh, from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, yay, Grip of Amnesia. Spirit Flare, Glory Seeker, a 2-2 two, two for 2. That means, I mean, it's an it's an adequate cost for power toughness, but nothing special. Venerable Monk, 3 for 2-2, two, two, and you get to gain 2 life. Pacifism, don't, I don't like that artwork. Just not as cool. Even Cloud Chaser flying. When even Cloud Chaser comes in to play, destroy target enchantment. So enchantment hate there. Wonder Guard Sentry. When Wonder Guard comes into play, look at the top. Uh, look at the look at a target opponent's hand. Hmm. Draws Prowler. Got Fear. Chimney Imp. Uh, target opponent puts a card from his or her hand on top of his or her library. All right, we got some giant spider from sixth edition. And we're back to 7th. Some Wayfair, we've seen that one. Giant Octopus, Flight, Haven Fisher, Spined Worm, Grizzly Bears. Gotta love you some Grizzly Bears. I think I have three play sets of Grizzly Bear. I might have to make a bear deck. That could be not great, but fun. A Cabal Torture. Cage Mail. 
I don't think I've ever seen this one. Interesting. Enchanted creature gets 2-2 two, two and can't attack. So you're basically making yourself a wall. Or a defender. First Strike Morph. Invigorating Falls. That's good. Pretty good card. like that. I got a couple, uh, couple Popper Commander decks to throw that into. Infernal Caretaker. Dive Bomber. We've seen it. Gus Cloak. Uh, Harrier. Do, 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 do. Yep, we've seen that one. And Null Mage Advocate. All right, very cool. So, thanks for watching. Uh, give the channel a sub, and I'll be seeing you next time. I'll put my favorite cards that I pulled uh, from these two stacks in a short so you can check them out. All right, have a good day.